Hey everybody, welcome to Kilmer's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Happiness for Beginners, just came out. Uh, I had it on my list because uh, Luke Grimes, um, if you watch Yellowstone, he's the cool guy in that. So, uh, And Ellen Kemper, who is the marvelous Kimmy Smith, or whatever, Kimmy Schmidt. I don't think it's marvelous. I think it's, I don't know, whatever. She was from The Office. I thought she was funny for a while. I don't know. Uh, but um, Helen signs up for a wilderness a survival course and after after a year of getting divorced and realizes sometimes you have to get lost to find yourself that's what it says on imdb i know right 5.7 on imdb 233 people rated it so far it's funny like i was reading the synopsis if you will on netflix but you can't you you, you have the movie automatically starts like you have to i don't know where you put it Maybe there's a description, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I put it like, as soon as you turn it on, I'm like, oh, let's see. And then the movie starts playing, and then it goes away, so when I go to talk to you fine people, I have to memorize it. So, anyway, uh, I'll figure that out. That, just a little little ditty there. A uh, little, <laughs> little glimpse into my daily struggles. All right, that's it. Hour and 45 minutes long. I'll get into this. I'll let you know what I think. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of uh, Happiness for Beginners. I almost forgot what we were watching. And a little disappointed in it. And, uh, I'll tell you why. It's a romantic comedy. Uh, not something we probably haven't seen before. Um, and it was... Oh, I, I forgot of it. The unbearable Kimmy Schmidt. I thought of it. I didn't look it up. Anyway. Um, so she's... Um, she's a divorcee who's going out on this trip. And for some reason, Luke Grimes, who happens to be... Her brother's best friend follows her on this trip, and they go out on this just major hike. And she's trying to reset. She just got divorced. She's trying to get over it. Um, and ultimately, I mean, you could tell right from the beginning, like he likes her, right? So the whole trip. I mean, there's some. You know, there's supposed to be a couple of laughs. I didn't laugh out loud at all. Um, and I, the, my first thought. Well, let me back up real quick. In the beginning. The beginning, and then I didn't catch it to the end, the soundtrack. I was like, ooh, I like the beginning soundtrack. I lost, you know, thought of it throughout the entire movie. And I was on my phone plenty. Just, and I have nothing to look at, you know what I mean? Like, I was, it's not like, ooh, you know, that I want to catch up on something. I just found myself being bored throughout it. Um, didn't laugh. Um, and here's the, the big aha for me. While I liked Luke Grimes... And I was like, oh, he's got a little bit of, you know, he's got a different character in him than, than you'd see on Yellowstone, you know. Um, so slightly different, but I, you're supposed to, I think, in these kind of movies, you root for that couple to get together, right? The, the whole movie goes about them, you know, with, you know, some tension, some, you know, love tension between the two of them. I didn't. I did not, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't care. I didn't care either way. I, there was another girl, Wendy, on the trip who seemed like I, I, a better fit for our main uh, male character, Luke Grimes, right? And I just couldn't, didn't like um, Kimmy Schmidt's character at all. I didn't, you know, and I get it. And, and I think that, you know, the idea is, to, I don't know, it's supposed to be hard or they wouldn't make an hour and 45 minute movie uh, for them to try and get together, but I was not rooting for them, you know, and I think that's the main point is like you're supposed to like, oh, they'd be cute together. Oh, look at this. No, just just don't even do it. Just have Luke Grimes go at Wendy and let Kimmy Schmidt live, you know, however she wants to. So um, I did. I, but the other characters, the, the side characters, I like, like I mentioned, Wendy, she had a small role. Um, what was the other guy's name? Starts with an H. He was funny, you know. Um, there, oh yeah, I got his name here. Yeah, it was Hugh. Yeah, Hugh. He was funny. I even liked uh, Mason. I think his name was whatever. Um, you know, he was like the the super hikey guy, outdoorsman who knows everything. I liked his character. I liked Kaylee, that character, you know. Um, but I didn't like our main two. Which is odd. And I even liked Becker, I think his name was, was the tour guide or the hike guide. Um, you know, sometimes he was, but I liked everybody else but those two, which is odd, you know. They should be the supporting cast and they should, they should bring in some laughs and stuff like that, but yeah. I don't know why. I don't know if it was the two of them just didn't have that chemistry together. 
that you need in these films. Um, you know, the actors themselves having the chemistry together. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Maybe it was just the characters they portrayed that I didn't like. There was something. And, um, you know, because of that, I, I didn't really enjoy the film. And I didn't laugh much at all. I didn't laugh at all. So, all right. There you go. Very short review. Hopefully I'm helpful. Um, hopefully I'm helpful. I, I don't know if I mentioned it's on Netflix. Yeah, I did mention that. So, now you have all the information that I have. So, you decide to do what you want to do with it. All right. I'm going to say about a five on this one. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.